guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. Today I even did my makeup for you because I'm super excited to film this video. It is a very interesting topic. Guess what it is? You're right. It's about Van Cleef and our pal. Whew. So I got a request to film a review on my Tan Motif Vintage Alhambra necklace. And I asked the girl, which one do you prefer? And she said, well, if you did the comparison of both, that would be a dream come true. Um, hi, heart, heart of sparkle or heart of sparkles. Damn it. Hi girl, today is the day your dream comes true. So let's go. First, I'm going to show them to you. They come in a box like this and they also come they also come with a travel pouch, but I keep them in travel pouches. So I had to remove it from here and then it goes inside of the travel pouch. And what I really like about them is that these little buttons, they are protected on the inside with this suede like material. So the buttons don't scratch your necklace when you close the travel pouch. So that's a cute little um, detail. And this part of the travel pouch has a little um, hidden compartment here. Well, not hidden, but it's for your vintage Alhambra pendant, for example. So you don't have to have two travel pouches. You can put this pendant here or any other necklace, really. So I thought that was really nice, but I put them into the cases they came in. Um, so you guys can see and let me show them to you so we can get into talking about them i love them very much that's why i'm so excited because well i wear them quite often especially the rose gold one but we'll get into it in a minute so here they are oh my god i love them so much i can't tell you guys like every time i open these cases i just can't stop looking at them i like both of them i feel like equally they're both my children <laughs> but yes i love them probably the same as i would my real children i don't know is it possible i think i'd like these more i'm gonna quickly talk about the prices because i have a point i'm about to make so we're quickly gonna cover the prices i really don't like when people get into pricing and stuff because i can like go on their website and see plus taxes are different everywhere so i'm gonna tell you taxes for la for the area i live in and how much these necklaces are right now so this necklace is eight thousand dollars without tax and it is eight thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars with tax because uh, we have nine point five percent tax and this necklace is $8,450 and with tax, it is $9,252.75. Now, a vintage Alhambra pendant in white mother of pearl, a single motif like this one, is $2,620 and with tax, it is $2,868.90. And now a rose gold single motif, which is vintage Alhambra pendant really, is $2,790 and with tax it is $3,055.05. Right. The reason I'm saying this is because three vintage Alhambra pendants will get you a 10 motif. And it's like, oh my gosh, three clovers versus 10, but at the same time, it's, it seems like a good deal, but at the same time, you get three necklaces versus one. And yet, I still believe that getting a 10 motif is better. Let me explain. And again, it's not just three vintage Alhambra pendants in white mother of pearl will get you a 10 motif. Um, in white mother of pearl. I think you need to add like 150 or 160 dollars something like that It's very close. So it's pretty much Up to 200 dollars away from a 10 motif. That's how little the difference is now with the price increases I remember I paid for the rose gold um, exactly eight thousand dollars plus tax and um Now it's eight thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and that was just one price increase so Overnight, it went up $500 with tax. And that's a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes right there. Like, that 
makes no sense to me to wait to get a 10 motif if you're planning to get a 10. If you're planning to get a 10 motif, please save. Save your money, control yourself and don't impulse buy. I know it's very hard to control yourself with Van Cleef and Arpel. It's just like you want everything and you want it right away and I've been there, I know, but I just wanted to get my 10 motifs first and then get smaller items. I still had like a vintage Alhambra pendant in hammered yellow gold, but I've been waiting for it for quite a while. And when it happened to be available, I uh, purchased it. And my very first item before the 10 motifs was um, sweet Alhambra pendant in carnelian. That one is, I think, my favorite. It's like, it's the weirdest thing to say, but it's such a bright, bright, it's like a pomegranate red stone and it's just it's gorgeous so i really i i lucked out because um because i saw like 15 pieces before i chose the right red anyway so why i think that buying a 10 motif is better than a vintage alhambra pendant and again it depends on your style so it's very subjective but in my opinion you can really dress this down you can wear it with absolutely anything with sneakers i wear it with sneakers and of course you can dress it up so you will really lower your cost per wear having this one versus having i don't know three vintage alhambra pendants it will be the same thing at the end so I just think that this is better and you will look so chic. Not everybody has these 10 motifs. Not a lot of people can afford these, unfortunately, and not a lot of people have patience. So I am here to hold your hand and help you through your itch. Now onto the review. So I slept and showered many times in this one. This is hammered rose gold. When I travel and stay at a hotel, I never take it off because I'm always worried that I'm gonna misplace it or lose it or somebody's gonna steal it. I always spray perfume on it and um, I know that nothing is ever gonna happen to it because it's gold but if you want to be extra careful try not to spray perfume on it because some people believe that rose gold turns more yellow over time and it's because of chemicals, for example, in your lotion or in your perfume or makeup. I don't believe that because it never happened to my jewelry in rose gold and I have it from other brands that are non-designer. I think it has something to do with your skin's pH. So on some people, it turns a little bit more yellow and over time it looks almost like yellow gold. And on some people, it turns more copperish or pinkish. And that's my case, which I don't mind at all. Like it looks just more darker red over time unless I like wash it with toothbrush and a little bit of toothpaste, that's how I clean it. And it goes back to light shade of rose gold. So I guess it does over a long period of time change color. But keep in mind that yellow gold will become more yellow over time. Like over a long period of time, yellow gold sometimes looks like almost cartoony gold because my dermatologist, she has a love bracelet. My love bracelet is newer and hers is very old she told me she got it many years ago so hers looks like egyptian antique gold and it's gorgeous and patina looks very good on it but it looks more yellow so it's the case for all gold now my mother of pearl necklace i don't wear as often i think of it as my dressy necklace um it is very very shiny it makes a statement you cannot not notice it um, I'm also very careful spraying perfume around it, like extremely careful. It looks expensive, but keep in mind that Mother of Pearl is the cheapest material VCA uses. It is the cheapest material used for jewelry purposes out there, period. Its value isn't measured in grams, but in kilos. So when Onyx is measured in grams, Mother of Pearl is sold in bulk and the value is measured in kilos. So it's sold in big bags. And I'm sure VCA chooses their Mother of Pearl wisely, but nevertheless, it is pretty much trash. Like, it is what it is. It is very, very cheap. So the prices are anywhere between $198 and $248. So you pretty much get a kilo, kilo? 
So you pretty much get a kilo, a bag of mother of pearl for 200 bucks. Yet both mother of pearl and onyx cost the same from VCA because you're obviously paying for the brand name and the craftsmanship. I didn't know this when I was purchasing my tan motif in mother of pearl. I would have no doubt gone for the onyx. So it's something to consider. Of course, mother of pearl is the most popular because, and it's just my opinion, it's extremely cheap for the VCA to make and push out. They limit hammered gold and malachite and sell this cheap stuff instead for a lot of money when it costs very little for the brand. Have you noticed that mother of pearl is the easiest crystal you can get from VCA? It's always been like that. Now it's not a big deal. Onyx is also easy to get, but I wish I thought about this and researched about this earlier, before my purchase. So I'm just letting you know, guys. Yes, it looks divine. It is gorgeous. It's mesmerizing, but it's not a pearl. It's what grew a pearl, and um, it's really not nothing special. I love layering these two together because together they can look either very dressy or very casual. Like think beachy boho vibe you can really play around with them they look amazing together but i would never ever connect these two and wear them as a 20 motif in two tones i filmed the video about this before when i see somebody connecting two different bracelets to create a 10 motif necklace i right away think to myself what have you done you just cheapified those two top designer jewelry pieces and yourself. Just use your pieces for what they're intended. It's like taking Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 and using it as a clutch. Like, come on now. It's not a bag and Princess Diana was on a yacht. She probably just had her sunscreen in there. I just think it makes you look cheap when you take something cheaper, like for instance, a toiletry bag and not a real bag or a bracelet and not a real necklace and use it for the purpose of a more expensive item. If that makes any sense. Respect your items when wearing them and you will look stylish, graceful, and people will wanna look up to you instead of getting the wrong idea about your financial status. Mother of Pearl is absolutely stunning and I do understand why so many people get mesmerized by it. So did I. But you wanted my honest opinion, so of course, if I could get it, I would get this again. Uh, this, I just don't think that it's worth it. Of course, it is VCA, everybody knows what it is. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful, very shiny. The craftsmanship is amazing. But let's just look at it objectively. This is all gold and it's only $450 more than trash. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry, I'm just... <laughs> you know what I mean, but if you imagine like bags of mother of pearl being sold uh, in kilos, it's just, it's, it, it's sad. Like, it's heartbreaking, but it is what it is. Of course, I don't look at it like that, I still love my mother of pearl earrings. I wear them every single day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If so, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Also, I'm not gonna do a try on because if you follow me on Instagram, I wear these pieces. Maybe I'll throw in a try on here. Maybe if I'm in the mood, I don't know, we'll see. Will there be a try on or no? <laughs>